My name is Ruth Hall. I'm a professor at the University of the Western Cape, South Africa. And I've been facilitating a session here uh, at the Conference on Land Policy in Africa, at the African Union. Uh, and our session was dealing with the role of academic institutions in supporting land governance on the continent. We were particularly showcasing the network that was established uh, seven years ago. In 2016, the Network of Excellence on Land Governance in Africa was established. Uh, it's a partnership with the African Union, the UN Economic Commission for Africa, and the African Development Bank. And so we now have universities that are uh, networked with one another across the continent with key nodes at universities in Morocco, in North Africa, in Namibia, in Southern Africa, in Ghana and Senegal in West Africa, in Tanzania and East Africa, and in Cameroon in Central Africa. So we were talking about what we've been doing in these years to uh, revise our curricula, to strengthen our training, so that we produce well-qualified land professionals. And also training mid-career professionals, both in government, in civil society, in the private sector, and strengthening acad academics as well. One of the main things that came out of our session was the need for more research into new evolving topics, like for instance, digital technologies and their applications in land governance, climate change and land governance. There are areas that are not so well researched, so we can't just be relying on old curricula, we need to be updating. A second theme was about communications and converting research uh, insights and knowledge into communications materials like policy briefs and engaging more effectively both with policymakers and practitioners. And a third uh, theme was about the need to strengthen communication and connections within the continent across our different nodes. What I observed about the session is that firstly a lot of people came. A lot of the people who came either have attended our courses or want to uh, and there definitely wasn't enough time for discussion. So what I think is going to happen in the next uh, few days of the conference is people are coming up with new ideas about ways to take forward all this energy and initiative. Uh, and quite a lot of the younger people who have been trained are wanting to establish networks. They're saying they've produced knowledge. They need to find ways to share it. So I think what's happening is quite interesting because um, a lot of the initiatives of the past 10 to 15 years, including the African Land Policy Center, which is based at the ECA, um, and, and other groups have helped to create these initiatives. And now I think that there's almost a spontaneous conversation happening about how to connect knowledge in universities, knowledge among practitioners, connect with development agencies, um, and train this new generation of land practitioners. What's interesting for me is that I see there's an old generation here that's put a lot of effort in, but I'm seeing the energy coming from, from the young people who have new ideas of where they want to take this. My takeaway is that universities are actually very much uh, overloaded with expectations. Everybody wants universities to do excellent training. They want us to do research. We must publish. We must also communicate with policymakers. We must work with communities on the ground. So clearly, it's, a, it's very hard work to be an academic. But uh, actually, what I think is, is really the case is that universities have a particular role in society. And a lot of expertise exists within universities around land issues but it's very uh, fragmented around the continent. And there's really a need to bring that together. And academics need to be pretty good at communicating. It's not good enough to publish our academic papers. We need to be good at engaging with the media. We need to talk to policymakers. We need to know who are the decision makers. And so I think that the main takeaway from today is that universities need to be places to generate uh, and train people in knowledge but we also need to be good communicators and we need to partner with others to make that happen.